Olive was standing on a steep slope covered in crunchy white snow. It was very cold. She was wearing a thick, puffy coat and a bobble hat. Oh, I'm glad I've got these warm clothes. Oh, yes, you can say that again, said a voice. Olive turned to see a little man with a huge, bushy beard. He was only wearing a vest and pants. He was shivering quite a lot. I'm Olive. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sir Edmund Hillertop, a famous mountaineer. I climb all the t tallest mountains. Oh, so is this a tall mountain? Tall? Olive Old Bean, this is Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, and I'm c climbing to the summit. But, Sir Edmund, what's happened to all your clothes? Aren't you cold? Oh, there was this huge gust of wind. It blew away all my warm clothes, along with my map, compass and packed lunch. So now I'm rather chilly, hungry and lost. Well, I'm not sure how to help. I'm no mountaineer. Suddenly, there was an enormous growl. <laughs> Out from behind a rock jumped a huge, fairy, man-shaped thing. It was growling, and it didn't sound at all happy to see them. No, oh, that's the infamous Yeti. Run for it before he eats us for his d -d dinner. Wait, he's got my map, <laughs> compass, and packed lunch. Boy, give those back. Oh, I think that's the last we'll see of those. Oh. oh, dear. I think he's still hungry. Maybe he's going to eat us next. She had to think fast. Sir Edmund, do you have any food at all? Well, I do have my emergency cupcake. Always keep one tucked away. Hmm. A cupcake? A hungry yeti? I think I may have an idea. Olive took the cupcake from Sir Edmund and held it out to the Yeti. The Yeti grabbed the cupcake and gobbled it down. Yum, said the Yeti. He seemed very happy. Oh, I think he wants your poles too, Edmund, said Olive. Edmund handed them over. The Yeti used them as needles to knit a long scarf out of his own fur. He gave it to Edmund. Edmund wrapped the scarf around himself. Well, thanks very much. This Yeti scarf really is very warm. I think he wants to lead us to the summit of Everest, said Olive. So Olive and Sir Edmund followed the Yeti all the way to the summit. We've conquered Everest! Beam, Sir Edmund. And you're the first ever ostrich to climb it. Congratulations, Olive. That's lovely. But... How do we get down again? Suddenly, the Yeti gave Olive and Sir Edmund a push. They went sliding all the way down Mount Everest on their bottoms and the Yeti <laughs> slid down behind, <laughs> cried Olive as she slid. At the bottom, they ended up in a snowdrift. Oh, that was fun. Thanks so much for all your help, Olive. I think you've got yourself a new mountain climbing best friend forever, <laughs> chuckled Olive. They all laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. But Gek, actually, I climbed Mount Everest and met a yeti. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Oh, <laughs> yeah.